When y'all talk about the city of New Orleans, Uptown, especially Uptown, you can't miss me. If you do, you hate me. When you talk about the city of New Orleans, Uptown area, you can't miss me. If you do, you hate me. Before I drop an album, before I did anything, you know what I'm saying? I was a hood celebrity, you dig? I'm a gangster in the hood just having a good time. So when I show love to all my people, I'm gonna get that same love back. Well, being from the Magnolia Project, people from all over the world, when they come to New Orleans, they wanna see what that is. I'm Skip Boo from all the Magnolia. Grew up in the Tyler Dynaco. I'm Kenny Boo, you hear me? I was raised uptown in the Magnolia. I'm a written a doing it boy, John the Boo Man from the Magnolia Project. Twenty four hundred Washington Avenue, New Orleans, Louisiana. Seven zero one one five is the actual physical address for the Magnolia CJP Public Housing Project. Some would argue that the actual physical address is thirty three zero one for Red Street. If you know, you know the Magnolia that was designated by the city for Black residents only consisted of low rise brick buildings arrayed around grassy courtyards, eventually growing to include one thousand four hundred apartments. The Housing Authority of New Orleans would bulldoze several square blocks to build the Magnolia. Frank Pania, a local business owner, would have to move his barbershop from its footprint. Frank would then open the do drop in across the street, selling food and drinks to the workers building the complex. Frank would later expand, adding live music in 1945. The new do drop in would go on to be one of the most historical monuments in the NO. This is the story of the Wow Magnolia. Before Hurricane Katrina would make landfall in New Orleans in 2005, the privatization of public housing was already underway. Since 1996, Hope Grads through the Department of Housing and Urban Development were used by developers and organizations to demolish and replace public housing projects with mixed income housing in order to redevelop entire neighborhoods. The Housing Authority of New Orleans has been in federal receivership since 2002, grinding HUD direct control over New Orleans public housing. After Katrina, the rate of demolition for viable and structurally sound public housing in New Orleans would increase under the guise of disaster recovery. CJP, aka the Magnolia, was one of the big four public housing developments that were slated for complete demolition after Katrina. Since 1998, CJP had been in the process of being empty and partially demolished, with only 144 people living there at the time of the storm. In spite of community resistance, the Noya would be fully demolished and redeveloped as Harmony Oaks, beginning in late 2008. At its height, the Noya would operate 1,403 public housing units. Today, only 143 units on the site are designated as public housing. Phase one of the Magnolia project was constructed in 1941, bordered by Louisiana Avenue, Magnolia Street, Washington Avenue, and LaSalle Street. In 1955, the Noya was expanded north past Clara Street, incorporating six additional city blocks, creating the old side, new side. Caladonna would be realigned during the 1955 expansion, resulting in the disappearance of the three block long residential street, Belmont Place. The only remnants of Belmont Place will be three houses facing Taladana before it joins with Louisiana Avenue. During the Jim Crow era of racial segregation, the city's main medical care facility, the Blacks, will be Flint Goodrich Hospital, located on the southwest end of Ferret Street on Louisiana Avenue. Fun fact, the first three Black mayors of New Orleans were all born at Flint Goodrich Hospital. From 1952 through 1978, the housing manager for the Noya was Cleveland Joseph Pete. In the 1980s and 90s, living conditions in the Noya had been neglected. There was severely decline when that hard would hit the scene. Crime activity would increase, as well as the patrol of the corrupt NOPD. In addition to being home of famous hip-hop artists, Soja Slim, Juvenile, and others, Magnolia would have one of the highest deletion rates of any housing projects in the United States. In New Orleans, as in other big cities in America, crime and violence typically would go unseen by visitors. Most of the deletions are highly concentrated in specific neighborhoods, corners, or housing projects. The Magnolia would be one of those locations. In 2003, New Orleans would again have the highest deletion rate in the United States, with 275 in total, for a per capita rate eight times worse than New York City's. 
According to the Times Picayune, nearly all 275 of those crushings in 2003, along with the people accused of crushing them, would all have criminal records. Among the victims, more than a third were smashed within three months, their last arrest. In other words, America's policies were fueling violence and deletions in some of its biggest cities. In 2001 and 2002, demolition of portions of the Noya will begin as part of the Housing Authority of New Orleans Revitalization Plan. By 2005, only the 1955 expansion had been raised. The majority of the remaining buildings were vacant and fenced off, with only a portion still occupied when the area flooded in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. Redevelopment will be delayed in the aftermath of the disastrous flood, which devastated the majority of the city. In late 2008, the Magnolia projects were vacated. The majority of the buildings were raised. On January the 7th of 2009, local, state, federal, and HUD officials met to break ground on a new $183 million CJP community meant to replace the Magnolia projects. The plan will include 460 units, a recovery school district, and YMCA in the first phase. Two-thirds of the community will be mixed use and mixed income, with the rest being market value apartments and townhomes. In 2011, the rebranded Harmony Oak community developed by McCormick Warren Salazar opened as a mixed use community of 406 apartments and homes, including public housing, low income and market rate dwellings. The new Harmony Oaks redeveloped on the old Magnolia Project site is located on some 41 acres southeast of the intersection of Claiborne and Louisiana. The site is bounded by Washington Avenue to the east, LaSalle Street and Ferret to the south, Louisiana and Tadadana Avenues to the west, and South Claiborne Avenue to the north. The redeveloped projects are considered to be a continuation of New Orleans as the end moves forward towards new urbanism, favoring urban neighborhood development over suburban living. Per records from the Federal Bureau of Investigations, at one point, the Noya would be one of the most notoriously dangerous housing projects in the entire United States. It was reported that the Magnolia projects had the highest deletion rate of any housing project in the city, even more than the MELF and the Calio. The Noya would have a local crime rate higher than many full municipalities in the United States, spawning a significant influence in New Orleans with its extremely high deletion rate. Taking a look back in time, in 1951, there would be 66 crushings with 53% of them committed with blicks. This would be from citing stats from the Orleans Parish Coroner's Office. In 1973, out of the 252 deletions, 71% would be committed with blicks. Infamously known for street crews, the Four Horsemen would be one of the first to stump the grounds of the Magnolia Projects. You can't mention Anoya without mentioning OGs like Jeff Sanders, Roy Lee, Bo Hickey, Blabber, KC, Lester Duplessis, Jackie Moe, and Eric Maurice, just to name a few. The mid-90s were birthed an entirely new generation of street figures in Anoya. The Hot Boys, a notorious street crew known for crushing, taking hits, and jacking, would be in full effect in the mid to early 90s. As the Hot Boys would seemingly die off and be incarcerated by the late 90s, the Dooney Boys would be in power throughout the Anoya. This wouldn't last long as going forward into the 20th century other notorious street crews would roam the streets of the Noya. Although the Noya would be involved in several street wars, one of the most infamous wars would be the Noya versus the Yo. Fought in the mean streets of the NO, this war would spawn casualties on both sides. <laughs>